Um, uh, so, um, hello guys. So, welcome back to my channel. So, in this video, we'll be discussing the uh, conversion of improper fractions to mixed number and the conversion of mixed numbers to improper fractions. So, vice versa lang po. So, we have here a sample problem. Uh, we'll be converting 7 over 3 and improper fractions to a mixed number. Now guys, you can uh, say that the fraction is an improper fraction when the numerator is much more greater or mas malaki yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. So in this case, uh, in this case, we'll be uh, dividing 3. Uh, we'll be dividing 7. Uh, we'll be dividing these digits. So 3 will be our uh, divisor. Uh, sulat ko lang dito. While uh, 7 will be our dividend. So 3 divided by 7, then we have 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. Now 1 divided by 3, uh, this 3 and 1 cannot be divided. So, yung mangyayari, yung uh, 1 natin, or the remainder will be our new uh, numerator, while our divisor will be our uh, new denominator so the uh, uh, the uh, the mixed number uh, formation of these improper fractions is 2 and 1 thirds ganun lang po siya sa, ganun lang po siya kasimple okay uh, the most complicated part naman po is converting mixed number into improper fraction yung 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 po yung pinaka pinaka medyo mahirap gawin so we have, we have here the mixed number 2 and 1 thirds actually mag, yung 2 and 1 thirds and 7 over 3 are the same uh, are the same they have the same value kahit i-calcule nyo pa po sa cycle uh, the value will be the same okay lang okay po so, magkaiba lang po yung kanilang uh, appearance. So, uh, in converting a mixed number, the first step is, will be copying the denominator. After that, after that, we'll be solving the numerator. So, we'll be uh, um, multiplying the denominator by the whole number. After that, the answer of this uh, of this mul of, of multiplying three and two will be added to the uh, numerator. So uh, I will just rewrite it. Susulat ko lang po para hindi po tayo malito. So that would be three times two. Ilalagay ko lang po sa parentheses plus one. Therefore. 3 times 2 would be 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 thirds. So, ganun lang po siya kasimple. Okay? Uh, kung nakikita nyo. Vice versa lang po. I intended to uh, convert uh, the uh, the same, uh, uh, the same, uh, uh, I mean, I intended to convert two fractions with the same value para at least ma, ma, i, uh, may present ko kung uh, paano po ma, ma, ma convert ang isang improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction. Okay guys, in uh, this case, uh, we now have another uh, set of problems. We have 15 over 10 and 1 and 1. So, I'll be converting 15 over 10 and uh, improper fractions to a mixed number. So, uh, ganun pa rin yung process. Uh, we will divide uh, 15 over 10. Uh, 10 will be the divisor. 15 will be the dividend. So, 10 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 10 subtract 5 now 10 and 5 cannot be divided so 5 will be our numerator and 10 will be our 
denominator. So, x number 10 is equals to 5, 1, and 5, 10. Now guys, hindi pa po ito yung final answer natin. As you can see, as you can see the fraction, 5 over 10, kung mapapansin nyo, meron siyang komona, ko, commonality. Ayun, tama ba? <laughs> meron silang pagkakapareho or tinatawag natin LCD, kumbaga. So, in this case, yung commonality nila is 5. We can still reduce this fraction into a much more smaller uh, value. So, what we will do is we will divide both sides by 5. Yung technique dito, yung technique po dito is uh, titignan lang po natin kung ano yung possible number na pwede natin i-divide both in both numerator and denominator na may pagka-common or commonality sila. In this case, we have 5. So, 5 divided by, uh, so copy, copy paste lang po natin yung whole number, 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So, the answer is 1 and 1 half. Mag, uh, same thing rin po guys, magpareho po yung 5 and 15 over 10 and 1 and 1 half. Okay, so next I'll be converting this mixed number 1 and 1 half into an improper fraction. Uh, same thing po yung process natin kanina. Copy paste lang po natin yung denominator niya, which is 2. After that, I'll be multiplying the denominator to the whole number times. And the answer will be added to the numerator. Aray. So, that will be, nalagay ko lang po siya sa parenthesis. 2 times 1 plus 1. Then, that would be 1 that would be 3 halves um, as you can see guys 3 halves yung yung uh, lubas na sagot uh, this, this, is, this is still correct because um, in this case this is 5 over 10 uh, 15 over 10 and as you can see 15 over 10 Ano po yung uh, nakikita nyo dito? Meron rin po nyo, meron, meron rin pong commona, ano ba yun? Hindi ko, hindi ko, hindi ko siya masabi. Commonality. 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 Yung 15 and 10. Which is number 5. So, this fraction can be still reduced to a much more smaller value by Dividing both sides, uh, I mean dividing the numerator and denominator by number 5. Guys, okay, none. So the answer would be 15 divided by 5 would be 3. Um, 10 divided by 5 would be 2. 3 halves. Ganun po siya. Okay, so wag lang po tayong malito sa wag, 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 po lang, wag po tayong malito in reducing a much more smaller value for a fraction. Actually